Friends, birdies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This week is the second stroke last part to last week's video. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen last week's video, uh, just stop here and then click on this link and go back, watch that video, and then uh, you'll be up to speed for this video. So we're gonna pick up where we left off last week keep fishing stay tuned right to the end because basically it was just a sick day right up until the end of the day it was awesome it's just one of those stupid good days that just comes along every now and then out of the blue and just blows your mind anyway enjoy see you at the end to get back to it so again i'm just gonna have a sandwich so i'm just gonna fish the top of this piece of water just because um we haven't really been fishing piece of water after anyone's caught a fish today mm. just because we want to move fairly quickly through the river otherwise we won't get out of here before dark and we don't want to be in here at dark um, but yeah seeing as he's going to eat the salmon food I will do some fishing in it I'll put my flies out there and let it drift through there and see if I can catch a fish you know what I mean I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the video when I was setting up I said I was gonna run my five weight recon with my six weight line, uh, just cause. I'm only fucking loving it. What a setup. So good for this kind of fishing. A little bit deeper, a little bit slower, a little bit better. Oh, it is. Fuck, I thought that was the bottom for a second there, man. That looks all right. I felt... Like I thought I hit the wall when I first, because it just didn't move. The brown. Oh, that's a great fish. The brown? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. Chill, turn. A little bit of rapage going on here, mate. I'm a bit wrapped. Hang on. Oh! Ooh, that's my best brown out of this river for sure. So yeah, when I first hooked that fish, I actually thought I'd hooked like the wall or the bottom. It just kind of nothing happened. And then there was a head shake, so I knew it was a good fish, but the fact it was a brown, even better. That's easily my biggest brown out of this river, for sure, 100%. I'm stoked, wicked. Trying to find, what we get? Oh, I need to turn on my rod. Oh my God. You know what time it is? Yeah. Uh. What? Oh, my wife. I'm unwrapping you're right, you're my lollipop. Right, right in it. Oh, so, spotted a fish. Oh, there's no way it's coming out of here, but there's a fish down there in front of a rock on the inside that just came up. It's in quite shallow water and it came up high and ate something, so we're going to swap over, dry dropper, sight fish this guy. Royal Wolf? Yeah. About three feet, four feet of leader and a little limpy poo. Yeah? Yeah. It's almost like you've done this before, Alex. I, uh, I watched some videos, some dude on YouTube. That's great. That's great. Yep. Coming over, coming over, coming over. Yep, yep. Wow. Oh, it's a good rainbow. Sick it's a little fish. slow on that. Yeah, a little bit, but what? It's a fucking tank. Nah, it's not that. It's a tank, good. bro! Yeah, yeah, it's bigger. It's bigger. Yeah. It's way wider than I thought he was. Yep. 
Oh yeah, what a beauty. <laughs> Brilliant fish. Another five, easy five to six pound rainbow trout. Just stunning. Take a look at this. Big fat heen. Oh. Really good. On the dry dropper too. Super stoked. Cool. Just, just up in front, no matter what. Cool fish. See you later, girlfriend. Got him, just a little bit deeper. Oh, look at the colors on that. It's a good fish. Mm. Wicked colors. Uh, over there. I don't know, mate. Gonna like it over here. Don't wanna hang out with the cool cats. Here we go. Oh, colours, eh? Ah, uh, come on. I'm good. You good? We're good. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, nope. Hang on. Oh no! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Alright. Suddenly got bad. Ah. Shit! <laughs> it's not a good stretch to be going down. Uh, ah. You just go here. Can you go over there? Oh, this is suboptimal, Gary. What kind of a net man are you being right now? Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, well yeah. <laughs> maybe a hundred meters downstream I've a is full of water but we got the fish that's a cool fish look at that jaw yeah all right buddy we're gonna get him back because that was a long fight yeah probably should have stopped chewing <laughs> yeah I fell in down there in the rapids uh, but we got the fish which was great and a great example of why you should have some spare stuff with you in your bag because I forgot my left from in the truck but Gareth had his so I've just changed out of my way to turn him inside out tried to dry him out as much as we can in the sun that we've got swapped over all my base layer thermals and now put my waders back on and I'm kind of dry but be good enough to get me home without being freezing so yeah carry some spare shit cool right then let's go Got him. Ooh. Nice bro. It's really big. Hey? Really big. Coming this way.
Yeah, bro. It's another great fish. Yep. Oh, wicked. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, so this this river's just uh, super low. It's super low and clear, but it's, it's like a miniature version of the river we were just in. It's really, really cool. Not much water to fish, but there's usually a couple of good fish you can pull out of here. Could very much be one at the back there under oh, that yeah, foam yeah, line. In front of the rock. Oh yeah, yeah. So I was looking over the back there. Yeah, just to sort of it. eat something. Should Ooh. we tape a lead of this just to? Just for the, this last bit, we might as yeah. well. Sorry, We've got you time. Off. You rip, rip the thing off it. And coil it. All right, so we're gonna do this properly and we're gonna change this over to a tapered leader just because Probably we should do. Shot. We should do, yeah. We're more chance of sight fishing like this in this last little bit than we've had all day. All right, so now we've got my, my rig is the Nymphy rig and we're just gonna put this dry dropper onto Garrett's rod. Oh, well, we might as well just you can tie that on. Okay. And then I might just shorten up this tippet a little bit. I'll just actually I'll just take a little bit off and then put something a 14 on. So I'm just gonna put this uh, little Kelly Galoop ant thing that I tied. When I was uh, somebody put me onto it. I don't know who. Somebody left a link in one of my comments to this video, and I tied two. And I've had a fish eat one, and I didn't catch it. So it looks like it might be a good time to give it a nudge. Give Kelly Galoop some love. I'm pretty sure it's Gallop. Kelly Gallop. If anyone is out there watching in the states, Maybe and, even and Kelly Gallop's watching. Hey Kelly, how do we say your name, bro? Hey, what's your last name? Gareth reckons it's Gallop. I'm going with Galoop. It sounds so gross. <laughs> Galoop. Galoop. I hope it's not Galoop. Galoop. <laughs> if Kelly's, you can't say that if Kelly's watching, you'll offend him. Who is he? He's a fly pilot. Right? He's the guy who's responsible for like all the sex dungeon flies yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. He's probably like known for a lot more than that, but. <laughs> nah, that's true. He's got no idea who we are. It's actually quite a tricky little cast, this people there's some lots of overhanging foliage and no back cast so you got to be a little bit uh creative with what you're up to i'm going to go for a reverse water load on a low angle towards the water it's going to unfurl expertly underneath that canopy of trees and sticks and straight onto that foam line fly is going to sink slightly fish is going to see the fly move to the fly eat the fly and then we're going to land and have a quick look, put him back. Definitely, I'm gonna call a three pound rainbow. That's my, uh, that's my guess. Three pound. Three pound rainbow. Rainbow just came back. It should turn to be on one. Should see this guy. Coming over. Saw that mouth go. Ooh. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh. That's a fucking light tip it. It is light tip it. Are we on 4X? No, I just fucked all my tippet. Did you hear that crap? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that what that was? Yeah. Nice fish. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a little. Yeah, a little bigger than I thought. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good. Probably just on Cool. So yeah, that was that was me first up on this little stream. It was our first piece of water, and yeah, that was wicked. Pretty much, as I said, it might happen. I hoped it would happen. Cast, drift, fish saw the fly, swung over, saw the mouth go, hit it. Great fish, awesome. So a real cool, coloured up jack, good spawning colours, great condition. Just a cool, 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 cool fish. That looks huge, bro. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's a massive fish. Yep. 
Holy oh, shit! Yeah. That, that is huge. So cool. That was so cool. He came so far to eat that. Dude. Oh no no no! Oh fuck! Oh, what happened? Uh, he yeah. fell yeah. around the bottom and sucked up that last bit of slack line and it popped around here. I almost yeah. got it off. Almost. It was big. Yeah, I think I still think uh, a little bit of height parallax. Five pounds. Fifteen. <laughs> Damn it. I really suck. Uh, so as it made that run, got a loop of line of wrap around the bottom of the reel. You know how that happens. And then just bust off straight away. It's a big fish. Um, yeah, so that's why you crush your barbs, people. If you don't already, crush your barbs. Use barbless hooks. Because as soon as that pressure comes off, those flies have got a very, very good chance of just popping out. Fish down there, 20 minutes. All right, you ready? Yep. Here comes. Oh, off the top and he missed it! It really hurts. He came up and missed it. Okay, so the fish came up to dry. And, and I took the fish dry. came up to the dry, opened and as he kind of closed his mouth and turned, it kind of washed out the side of his mouth and uh, that's it. He's still there, so we're gonna rest him, change him, change the nymph. Yeah. Change the nymph over. So I put the nymph past him once after. Yeah, put one drift past with an imp, nothing happens. So we'll rest him, change the fly, see if he eats an imp. Right. Not very deep either, are you? No. He ate that. Uh, I'll watch his mouth. Move on. In a tree. In, in a tree. tree. That's my... In a tree. Nailed it. First cast. <laughs> looking fish from a cool piece of water that we never really see anything in so that's a nice bonus but we've got like one maybe two pieces of water left before we we're out of here it's definitely getting on and we should probably hustle mm, not so good we have to leave it though got him <laughs> I was looking at my GoPro. <laughs> well, Ooh, two fish. Yeah. Oh, what do you have to say about what you've done to his breakfast? Yeah. Like yeah, so it's a bit late on that because I was looking at my GoPro again. It didn't go down in a hurry, it just sunk. Ooh, just ripped the rod out of my hand. <laughs> oh, beauty. Jesus! Oh! Oh no! Oh! You know when you uh, fly that I mean, uh, it doesn't go on very well and it kind of wraps around and locks on the reel. Just did that. Ah shit! Oh, I'm in a tree. Ah, uh, can you help me out here? I can't. I'm gonna end up breaking a rod. Oh no! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! I'm out! You're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the last fish of the day. Oh, nice rain brown. Here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Uh. Woo! Yeah. 
Nice fish, bro. Great fish to end the day on. All right, last fish of the day. And a real cool fish, fat. Wow, that is actually fatty. really cool fish. Beautiful, man, just mm -hmm. stunning. Good? Yeah, see you Get later, man. See ya. See ya, buddy. Sweet. Yo, we are back here. So not even close to back to the truck. We've probably got, well, we've got 20 minutes or so of super sketchiness followed by like another hour of just humdrum quad biking stuff and then we're back at the truck then there's a couple of beers there and then we've got like another hour and three quarters or so back to town it's a big day it's a big day. day super cool day though that was really cool that's probably we've probably in the past maybe caught more fish out of that particular day but as far as quality goes that's mental and we blew through a lot of water didn't fish much thoroughly and we just kind of just to get through it so that was that was a really really cool day so i'm going to sign off here and we're going to get the hell out of here great to see you thanks for coming along give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment in the comment section below make sure you go over to gareth's channel and watch his version of this video and if you haven't subscribed boop, hit the button cool i'll catch up with you on friday for a friday filler so you say bye gareth Ciao. Uh -huh. see you friday yeah.